A murder trial in Tampa began Monday with the defendant screaming at the jury. And today, veteran deputies and firefighters describe their emotional reactions to finding young victims at the murder scene. Eight on your sides, Jeff Patterson joins us live from the courthouse and see how things went today. Jeff? Good evening, Stacy and Keith. Well, Ronnie O'Neill faces the death penalty if he is convicted of killing his girlfriend, their severely disabled daughter, and stabbing their son. Still, he continues to insist on acting as his own attorney. Today, prosecutors showed jurors a bent and broken shotgun they say was used by Ronnie O'Neill to first shoot and then beat Kenyatta Barron to death at their Riverview home. Jurors also watched a video today of the chaotic scene in March of 2018 as recorded by a neighbor. As first responders arrived, Barron's lifeless body was in front of a neighbor's home. The state contends after Ronnie O'Neill killed Kenyatta Barron, he then murdered his disabled daughter with an axe before stabbing his son. In court, O'Neill is acting as his own attorney. Did you see anybody uh, kill anybody? O'Neill's mood today much more subdued than during his opening statement when he screamed at jurors. The night of the murders, firefighter Donald Foster was one of the first to arrive. And I don't remember if it was a deputy or a bystander came by and said that there's another child inside the house. Foster entered the home. I could see a faint orange glow somewhat off to, to my left. And described a nightmarish scene. And I realized that the floor was covered in, in, in blood. In heavy smoke, he crawled to a back bedroom. Everything in the room was on fire, so clothes, wall, ceiling. Um, once again, visibility was limited. And in the middle of the flames, found what he was looking for. I thought I had found a patient. He and another firefighter took the little girl outside, but it was too late. What did you do then? <laughs> uh, hugged my other firefighter and cried, to be honest with you. Tomorrow is expected to be one of the most emotional days of this trial as Ronnie O'Neill's son is expected to testify and tell jurors how he watched his father kill his mother. Live in Tampa, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.